Discovery. Good morning and welcome back to The Breakfast Show. We're here with Michael and Joseph to show us some fun science experiments. You guys are from Discovery Playhouse. Thanks so much for joining us. So what do we have first? What are we going to be doing? Well, thanks for having us yeah. on. Um, I'm the director out of Discovery Playhouse and we are going to be ringing in the new year with some really cool science experiments awesome. here. So uh, Mr. Taylor helped borrow from New York's ball drop and we're going to show you what you guys can do at home during those winter weathers where it's either you know really rainy and yeah. warm or um, really freezing and cold yes. so we've got some stuff that you can do around the house mm -hmm. with things around the house so if you guys want to go ahead and get started I'm yeah. gonna go do some kitchen magic real quick awesome. sure. so yeah we got a bit of an engineering challenge for everyone at home here today we're going to be building our very own New Year ball drop oh, this is awesome uh, it's a very basic structure it's going to be using some simple pulleys and levers in order mm -hmm. to make it work but the the basic structure involves two support beams and then what we call an axle that goes between the beams so you're not going to be making some sample uh, support legs here okay. by taking some paper and just kind of taping them together into tubes. Okay. Uh, what I really like about these activities is that you can use your imagination to, to no end. Yeah. Uh, we're using paper here to make our uh, support legs, but you yeah. can use things like cardboard tubes, Pringles cans, Legos, anything really. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's we encourage everyone awesome. at home to try to use their imaginations to the best of their ability. Heck yeah. yeah. So turn it this way and then yeah. I guess just kind of like roll it. Exactly. Yeah. And we have all sorts of different things here that could be uh, helpful for making this. Yeah. Um, this project here, but some tape would be really useful for getting that that tube yeah, it would. into right. a shape. So that can support some weight. Very it, basic tube, nothing too, nothing too crazy, just a, a few rolls in and of itself, maybe about an inch in diameter, cool, something like, like that. that. Yep, just about like that, and then you take a little tape, put it over just to hold it down. And one and thing that, that you guys can do during this is work. encourage your little ones to uh, ask some open-ended questions. Yeah. What do you think the ball is made of? What do you think supports the structure of the New York, um, the ball drop? And how does physics play into yeah. that? So it helps with open conversations. And here's some of that kitchen magic. This look is, at look that. at you guys, you work so fast. <laughs> oh, <we> did. <laughs> you didn't even see us do it. Yes. <laughs> so this is our basic structure here. You, again, you can see that axle and then we have a straw lever. So when you take the lever and you rotate it on the <laughs> axle, it starts to uh, raise or lower the ball. Look at that. This is uh, at the point where you can start counting down to, to the new year and at the very end you can just kind of drop it. Oh my god. And it's wonderful, right? Very entertaining. It's like the real ball drop. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, yeah. Let's you know, do it. So we can, I can hold this for you and okay. you can just kind of turn it this way. All right, let's turn the just lever. Just like that. Now we found that this is um, pretty much recyclable. That's really important. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Reuse these products, um, or you can uh, add in extra levers, different things like that. We encourage you to attempt this. And if it fails, that's the beautiful thing of science. Like keep trying, try different things. Um, and then if all else fails, it can be a cat toy. Um, <laughs> Mr. Taylor's cat really enjoyed this last oh, yeah. night. <laughs> Very intending for all involved. All right. Then, yeah, and then we let's can let go, go ahead and, and let's drop it. Whee! Oh, all right. That yes. is so cool. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, that was awesome. I know you guys have another experiment to yes. show us. So let's see that one. This one is going to be really cool well, too, I can imagine. Yes, I don't think they told you what oh, you were going to be you. doing this morning when you got to work. No, but, they didn't. Uh, safety is first here um, and at Discovery Playhouse too. So we're going to get some goggles for this one. Perfect. We're going to ring in the New Year Discovery Playhouse style. So we've got uh, two things of water here, mm -hmm. some soap. We have some mystery fuel in this can <laughs> here, and then we have a lighter. So you're going to be lighting our hands on fire today All right. uh, with our uh, flammable bubbles. Oh. So Cool. What Mr. Taylor is doing here is adding in some soap. If you'll hand me that dowel rod, we'll get yeah, no started up. So we're going to add some soap into here, which will help generate bubbles. And then Mr. Taylor, what are you going to be adding into that water there? Well, we're adding some soap into the water and then alongside that, we're going to be using a, a bit of a combustible uh, gas here. This is definitely not something you should be trying at home. This yeah, is yeah, something that should be done, uh, you know, <clears throat> trained supervisors, trained adults like Mr. Mike and I. Uh, we've done this before. We know how to do it safely. Uh, so this is something that should be viewed just from the comfort of your television screen or if you'd like you can come down to the Discovery Playhouse and watch this live too. Oh this is awesome. So yeah we're gonna take a little bit of that gas and put it in the water and as I let this gas go you'll notice it's getting Look trapped it's inside the soap so much. and Mr. Mike is gonna wet his hand to act as a thermal barrier and that's gonna protect his hand and then he's gonna scoop up some of these bubbles. All right oh. you have the important job. Right. Of yes. <laughs> All right. When do I go? So uh, we'll count down three, three two, two, one. Oh no. <laughs> oh <Yay. laughs> oh yes. my gosh. You want to give it a try? 
Yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, should I can I, take this for you. And then I, you can just so, dip your hand in yes. that water there to act as a thermal oh barrier. <laughs> yes. So you want to make sure you get your hand coated because that layer is what protects you from getting burnt. Yep. All right. It, and then just there's, a, there's water on it, right? Like, yes. Yeah. There's water on it. You want to add some more bubbles? Oh, sure. Yeah, we can do yeah, that. Yeah, add more bubbles. Yes. I feel like that'll <laughs> be a, another safe barrier. We're just going to keep my hand in the water. There <laughs> you go. All right, so then just scoop just the scoop bubbles, bubbles up. up. Yeah. That's it. And then you want to come back over here. Yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, boy. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> the Holy power cow. of pyrotechnics. <laughs> yes. So How does that work? So the um, fuel is trapped within the bubbles. Uh -huh. That surface tension of the bubbles contains that fuel. Yeah. And when it's ignited, when you put heat to it, it dissipates that, but that water on your hand acts as a thermal barrier oh, that protects you. Water is really good at absorbing yes. temperatures. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. I never would have guessed that I would be holding fire today in my hand. That is so awesome. Guys, thank you so much for of coming yes. and showing these cool science experiments. That first one you can definitely do at home and it's perfect for the New Year's holiday. So definitely have some fun this weekend and stay safe. Most importantly, we'll be right back.